Welcome back to the Tiger's Den Podcast. I'm your host, Big C. Before we get started, you guys know what we got to do. Smash that thumbs up button and subscribe if you're brand new. And don't forget, you can always hit those links in my description and follow your boy on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Big C Got Game. Well, it was a historic night in Auburn, Alabama, as our Grambling State Tigers traveled down to take on the Tigers of Auburn and took down the number nine team in the nation, 37 to 36. Coach Hobbs had a terrific game plan, keep the Auburn offense off the field for as long as possible, and that's exactly what Grambling did. They held the ball for over 24 minutes. Uh, The amazing stat is Auburn scored 36 points in just over seven and a half minutes. Here are the stats from the game. Devontae Kincaid finished 11 of 15 for 169 yards, two touchdowns, one interception, and a fumble, and he chipped in with 108 yards on the ground rushing. Martez Carter had an amazing game, 27 carries for 178 yards and three touchdowns. The running game was really in control. Uh, They helped control the clock. 45 run plays versus 16 pass plays. Rowland Salmon had some clutch catches down the stretch for Kincaid. Malik Rowland led the way with three grabs for 74 yards, and Khalif Salmon only had two grabs for 33 yards, none bigger than a catch in the fourth quarter down by the goal line. The GMAT defense, as we know, had a tough day, but got stops, important stops, during important times. Deontay Bridgewater led the team with seven tackles. The D-line did not register a sack, and the secondary didn't force an interception. Surprisingly, the Auburn run game only totaled 150 yards and only threw for 157 yards. They stayed in the game because of field advantage. Our kickoff team is terrible. Special teams needs a lot of work. So we put a bow on week five and take a look at the top 10. Ohio State still sits at number one. Bama is second, followed by Florida State, USC, and Washington. Georgia moves up four spots to six. Stanford jumps up to seven. Penn State falls to eight. Michigan is nine, and Wisconsin falls to 10. And Auburn, after their loss to Grambling, falls all the way to 19. Time to hit that recruiting trail, and we welcome our first member to the Elite 18, Richard Golden, a 6'1", 300-pound center from Louisiana. He's a dominant run blocker, but his pass block needs some work. He could see the field as early as his freshman year, or he could hit that red shirt. To the top of the board we go. Charlie Brooks from Arizona moves Grambling to his top team. Juco transfer John Nichols has uh, the Tigers number two behind Tulsa, but the gap is closing quick. Safety Juco transfer Brian Smith has taken a liking to Grambling's program, and uh, our league continues to grow for him. It's a battle for corner Julius Lamb. Right now, he has Grambling as his number one team, but the team down south, Southern University, is closing ground. Wideout Gerald Cox is a 5'11", four-star prospect from Louisiana. This kid is nice. He has our Tigers as his number one team and has reportedly been dreaming about playing for Grambling for some time. Four-star athlete James Heron has the G-Men as his number one team. He could play offense or defense. He could fit that Jabril Peppers type mode. The recruiters hit the trail and found a gem in New York. Meet William Higgins, a six-foot, 190-pound speed back. He would make a great one-two punch with Brooks. So that's going to wrap it up for recruiting this week. It's time to look ahead to our week six matchup with the Rams of Colorado State. They come in one and two and off a tough loss against Alabama. Senior quarterback Nick Stevens leads the team. He's thrown for 392 yards, two touchdowns, and he's handling the ball off to senior running back Dalen Dawkins. He's rushed for 222 yards and two scores. His backup, Izzy Matthews, is just as dangerous. He's got 171 yards and four touchdowns on the ground. Out wide, Michael Gallup is the lead dog. 14 grabs with 161 yards and two scores. Dietrich Clark is second on the team with eight grabs for 108 yards. And tight end Dalton Fackrell is third with grabs and first in yards. On defense, it's all about the linebacking core. Keel Robinson is a menace. He leads the team in tackles and sacks, but we got to watch out for Trey Thomas. He's second on the team in tackles and is a terror off the edge. This should be a fun game. Let's see if our Tigers can extend their winning streak to two games. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you smash that thumbs up button and join the Dynasty fan by subscribing and hitting those links in my description. Follow your boy on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Big C Got Game. Go over there, show some love, man. And we'll talk from the hall as we get ready to take on Colorado State. Have a great day, guys. Two figures in the air. Peace.